cilantro, coriander, is it the same? Is it different? What is the difference? Lately I've been getting a lot of people asking about cilantro and coriander and I find it interesting that one question is coming up a lot. Some of it's online, some of it's in person. So I thought I would go ahead and answer it in a video. Cilantro is an herb. It's a plant, a leafy green that you can eat. It adds a very distinct and individual flavor to many dishes. I live in Texas and here in the southwest cilantro is a very common herb that's put in many soups and salsas. My personal experience coriander is a little less common. It's a spice that comes off the same plant as cilantro. In fact I think some of the confusion comes from well the reason people are asking me this question is that they hear the term cilantro and coriander and some people actually call the plant coriander. In many other places around the world, the cilantro plant is actually called coriander. There's a scientific name for the plant, coriandrum or something like that, and that's why people call it coriander. For some reason here in the United States, we had to call it cilantro. If I got my facts straight, the word cilantro comes to us by way of a Spanish translation of a similar herb, but by the time it got to America and was well known, it was just called cilantro. But that does now provide some confusion with this thing we call coriander. It's really not that confusing at all. By now you're picking up on the fact that cilantro and coriander come from the same plant. I find it very interesting that this entire plant, from the roots to the stems, the leaves, and the seeds, all of it's edible. The most common products, at least in our area, are the soft stems and leaves that we call cilantro and the seeds that we call coriander. Cilantro and coriander both have some amazing health benefits. The plant is full of vitamin A, which makes it really useful for preventing and treating eye problems and preventing eye disease. One thing that I find very interesting is that the plant cilantro is one of the only substances that you can eat that actually removes heavy metal from your body. In an age where there's so much heavy metals going into just about everything that we consume, this is a really useful thing to know. Heavy metals are associated with certain diseases and syndromes and also the effects of aging. Cilantro, anti-aging, fights disease, helps flush your system. It sounds like a winner to me. Let's talk more about the coriander side. It's really just the seeds. If you notice now that this plant, this is one of the cilantro plants that grew up in my garden and then dried out. Once it's very dry, these little seed balls come off very easily. The seeds are harvested simply by letting it dry out and pulling them off of the plant. If you get a little bit of the leaf or stem in your coriander, it's okay because remember the entire plant is edible. There's still flavor in this dried out leaf. But let's talk about how to get the coriander seeds off the plant and stored without a lot of that extra leaf and stem. First, I'm just gonna quickly and coarsely kind of rub these seed balls off until they fall onto this tablecloth. I can even do that between my hands. Mama's gonna be happy that I got this done because she's tired of this dried out twig hanging out in her kitchen. Now that we got all of it on the tablecloth, we're just going to kind of rub it around, break it all up a little bit, pull out the really big stuff. Now the more I break that down, that dried out leaves and twigs, they're going to break up into a smaller powder. The coriander will be collected with an index card and sifted through this mesh. The index card is just a really easy tool to scrape all those seeds up with. Take your time though because you can flip them all over the kitchen. Once they're collected, I'm just putting them into the mesh. Everything inside the mesh now is the things that will stay are the twigs and the seeds. Everything else will fall through. We just now have to refine this a little bit by picking out some of the twigs. After just a few minutes, 
The result is mostly coriander seeds with just a little bit of twiggy branches in it. I hope that kind of clears up the differences for you between the herb of cilantro and the spice of the coriander. Here's another tip, don't keep your fresh cilantro out in the sun while doing a video about cilantro. Well, now that I've explored the differences, one of the things I need to do is learn how to better use coriander in cooking. If you have any tips or suggestions or great recipes, please leave those in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Daddy Curbs Farm as we talk about the products of our garden. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can get notifications of my videos in your inbox. Also give me a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you appreciate what is going on here on the Daddy Curbs Farm. Thanks again for joining me in this episode. I'll talk to you soon. The coriander will be collected with an index card and sifted with a sift, a sieve, and sifted through this mesh.